Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, show you something that I've been working on. Here's a small little teaser. I have been building my own little uh, sound room slash studio slash guitar room, whatever you want to call it. But in doing that, there is a problem that comes up with any room that you're trying to soundproof or do your best to soundproof as much as possible. And that's getting air and having a large hole in the wall, essentially having a vent. What do you do? Well, I, you could buy a super expensive vent that's a soundproof vent and all that, but why not make something of your own and it does a pretty darn good job. So let me show you what I did uh, to alleviate the sound leaving this room and coming into this room through my air vent while still being able to obtain air. And plus, kind of a glutton for punishment, I'm kind of hoping to get those comments of all the things that I did wrong. <laughs> but. In all reality, I'm really posting this just, just to give people an idea and they can steal it, modify it, make it work best for their room. So let me show you what I did with my silent vent. So this here is my vent. I wanted to have it low because we're in the Midwest. I want the heat to rise. But basically what's going on here is I've got an air vent in this room and the whole purpose is, is to cut the sound down that's coming out of this room and coming into this room while being able to provide an airflow. And how I did it was looking at a bunch of different designs online. I use a flexible conduit. This is the six inch. That goes into this box. This box is 36 inches by 36 inches, about a little over 10 inches deep. And in there, there's an adapter. It takes it from six inches to five inches conduit. Uh, and then it snakes around and I'll cut the pictures showing you with some uh, boards there. And each one of those turns help cuts, cuts down the DB. And I stuffed it full of a bunch of uh, Roxel or uh, Rock Bowl Safe Sound and insulation. Uh, and then it comes back out into another six inch conduit or six inch flexible conduct. And then into my actual vent. Now, the one thing I could say is the air that's coming out of there is not as robust as you might get in other vents. But we are in a basement, so I don't necessarily care about the heavy amount of air because uh, this already keeps pretty well in here plus uh, this place is going to be insulated to all get out but it works great in the sense that when the furnace runs you can't hear the furnace come out of there and I've had my wife yell down the vents you can't hear her voice come out of there but it sure as heck can hear it in that furnace and everywhere else and then as you can see one little silly thing here uh, I did attach this here so this will not tip over uh, I'm not in California anymore but um, you know if anyone bumps the wall or they, we do get earthquakes here in the Midwest you know yeah, the sucker ain't tipping over so I don't want to tip over that'd be bad because once this is sealed up you ain't gonna see it again one other thing to mention so with this flex flexible conduit check out the videos on how to install that stuff and make sure, make sure you use the acrylic latex duct sealant and um, you get the proper tool to attach your uh, your zip ties to put those on there nice and tight. There is a proper way to attach that stuff to metal and you need the latex duct sealant and the zip ties. If you only do zip ties, you're not doing it right. So make sure you find the guy that shows you the proper way to do it. Well, that is the, the silent box, the silent vent, if you will. And again, leave any comments. If you have any questions, I can certainly try to answer whatever I can. You know, looking forward to all the, the comments of about what I may have done wrong, what I could have done better. But, you know, this cost me little of nothing. It cost me, uh, I think I had to buy some plywood, so it cost me around uh, $20 in plywood. And I think it was uh, around... 20 bucks maybe for the the flex duck so for about $40 40 build $40 build um, there you go you get build your own silent box instead of spending you know godly amount for special vents so hope you enjoy that I hope it's helpful uh, and like I said please leave a comment or any questions like it subscribe be some new videos coming hope you guys enjoy thanks